Hello there. So everybody's convinced that Lego is getting more expensive. And in this video, I'm going to try and conclusively answer this. Now, this video has come about because I found a fantastic article linked to on the uh, Brickset website called What Happened with Lego. And it is an article going through in exceptional detail. So this article goes through in fantastic detail about the cost of Lego. The reason I want to make this video is because this article spans from 1960 to 2013. And I've only actually been making Lego videos in the last sort of five years. And it's in that time that everyone's been telling me how expensive Lego has been getting. And in fairness, I bought a Lego Millennium Falcon a few years ago. It was £100. And now I notice that the Lego Millennium Falcon is £130, £140, which seems like an extraordinary um, increase in price. So I thought we would make a slightly updated version of this article and try and conclusively say once and for all, is Lego getting more expensive? Now we're going to look at a time period of 2010 to present date, so 11 years basically. And we're gonna analyze the price of Lego in terms of the cost per piece. So this is the average cost of a single piece of Lego in a set. I think price per piece is, is fairly good, assuming your Lego set isn't just made up of millions of one by one bricks, which, you know, let's face it, then they're, they're not, are they? Lego is quite reasonable with their choice of uh, parts yeah, and even the weight of parts doesn't take into account the complexity of them so there are a lot more specific lego parts specific to each set than there were several years ago and we're also going to look at the average cost of lego sets over that time to see whether or not um, people are perhaps being influenced by the fact that lego is just there are more expensive sets than there were previously well that was a that was an extraordinary amount of rambling. We should probably get on with the video. So the first thing is we need the data. Um, I could have gone through Amazon listings or even Brickset and manually written down the whatever it is, 19,000 odd sets that they have into an Excel spreadsheet. But I neither had the time uh, nor the manual dexterity to do that. I, my fingers since lockdown have um, got quite stiff. I did notice that Brickset posted an article actually pointing to this Lego discussion and this guy Hugh, who I think owns Brickset, responded to it and said, oh, why did you write software to extract all the data from Brickset? If you'd let me know, I could have given it to you. So I thought, well, here we go. Here's my kind of in here. So I contacted Brickset. So uh, I didn't get a reply initially from Hugh from Brickset. I got, um, you get a, like a support ticket thing when you send a message on their website. I just got a, your support ticket has closed message. So um, I replied to it saying, uh, well, are you gonna send me the data or not? Trying not to be too kind of rude there. But anyway, I got a reply back from Hugh who was a little terse. Don't know whether or not he hates me. He basically said, download the data using the link. Um, which I didn't really understand because he didn't give me a link. So in the end, I had to use a special feature on the Brickset website. If you click on browse, mm, yep, that's right. So at the top here you where it says theme, year and category, if you change category to normal, so not the sort of other stuff that Lego sells, um, and then click year, so let's do 2020. Crucially, we can make a CSV file, which is a data format we can then um, manipulate in other software and then you get something like this that I just pasted into a text document format make plain text save as the imaginatively named test.csv we've now got a CSV file loaded into numbers which we can look at we can see we've got the um, set numbers the theme the very first thing I'm going to point out here is that obviously a lot of these things have UK, US and Canadian prices. I'm just interested in the British prices. If we scroll down to this point here, these creator expert sets, you can see that there are lots of sets here that don't have prices in all territories or um, 
don't seem to have any pieces. Not sure why that is. Maybe somebody can tell me, uh, but I'm going to exclude those from these from my analysis. I'm also going to exclude Duplo, which I can tell you because I accidentally included it in my original analysis, is very expensive. Filter, add filter by theme. Text is Duplo. So now we can only see the Duplo set, so we're going to actually just delete those. We're also going to add a new column here, which is going to be equal to the UK price divided by the number of pieces. So that is the cost per piece. Paste it all the way down. Finally, once we've done that, click on all of these cells. And at the bottom here, we get some stats, but it says max here, 699. That means that there's one set where the average cost per piece is £6.99. Well, I can tell you that that must mean that that particular set is actually not a proper set at all. It's a white base plate. I'm not going to include that in the analysis. It's fair to remove that. Then recalculate the average. And that then gives us the average cost per piece. Now, this is basically what I've done, but I've also removed mini figures from the analysis and other collectibles. So fingers crossed, um, we'll be able to draw some conclusions from this. So I had to do this manually for the 11 years, which didn't take that long, and then put those details into a numbers spreadsheet with the year along the top here, so 2010 to 2020. And then we have the PPP, the price per piece. And why don't we jump straight in and look at that graph over time since 2010. Well, here it is on the left here. Let me just zoom in for you. OK, so this is the graph we're interested in. Um, and you can see it goes up and down over time, or it has done since 2010, um, quite significantly, actually, ranging from about 0 0.08, so 8 pence per piece, up to nearly 14 pence per piece in about 2013. Now that isn't because Lego kept changing their cost per piece and making it better and worse value. This is because they will have released in those years um, either a lot of small sets, which had very few parts, where generally the cost per piece is higher, or they've released some very specialist sets where some of the parts in those sets are more expensive. So it's not really the individual data points here that we're particularly interested in, it is the overall trend. And here you can you can imagine, I'm not going to fit a best fit line to this, but you can imagine that there is a sort of trend here and it looks to be kind of going up through time. So it does seem as if the Lego cost per piece is increasing slightly over time since 2010. You might say it's gone from an average of about nine pence per piece and it's heading towards sort of 10 or 11 pence per piece. So in that regard, Lego is getting more expensive. We'll revisit this in a minute. The next thing I want to look at actually is the average cost per set, which I have also calculated. And that is this graph here. Um, and that is even more wild than the cost per piece. It ranges from, in 2016, about £40 per set to 2013, where um, it seems to be nearly £240 per set. So there's a huge variation in the average cost of sets in each year. It really is up and down. It looks quite cyclic, actually. So we're probably expecting some very cheap sets. And when you actually look at the data, what you find is that, say, for example, in 2016, Lego just released a lot of small sets for some reason. So could you say from this that Lego is getting more expensive? Um, not really, but I can see how this would mess with your interpretation of the cost of Lego, because if you bought all your Lego sets in 2016, um, and then a few years later, maybe three years later, went and looked in the shop, you might be confronted with a lot more sets that are just on average more expensive and it might make you think that Lego has all of a sudden got very expensive but this isn't the whole picture because things do actually go up in price anyway it's called inflation you may notice if you've got a bank account 
uh, there's interest applied, well not very much, but interest applied to your savings. Um, I'm not an economist so I probably haven't explained that particularly well, but things do get more expensive. I used an inflation calculator. I went to, um, oh I've lost it, that's not good is it? Not just the web page, I've just lost it in general. So I went to an inflation calculator called in2013dollars.com where you can put in an amount in pounds, the start year and the end year, and it tells you um, what the price then would be worth now. So for example, a pound in 2010 is worth one pound 29 in today's money, which is a cumulative price change of nearly 30%. So I did this, for each of the 11 years, put these values as an inflation figure in my spreadsheet, and then adjusted the price per piece and the average cost of the sets to take into account inflation. Um, so let's add those now by clicking Edit Data Reference, and click that one, and click Done, and scroll down to this. Now the green here is the adjusted for inflation version of the price per piece. Um, and actually it's quite difficult to tell isn't it with the blue one on as well so we'll just we'll take the original one off again you can see the price is going up and down um, do you know what looking at that I think the trend has disappeared I think the average cost of a Lego piece is about 10 pence and my neighbours are now watching me from another window, which is, you know, embarrassing, isn't it? If anything, you might say there's a slight downward trend here, very slight downward trend, but to say that Lego has got more expensive per piece, you know, it's it's not true. I keep looking at my neighbours now. But let's do the same thing for the average cost of the sets, and uh, yep, same sort of thing. It's just up and down. It's cyclic, isn't it? The average price of a Lego set seems to be about 150 quid across all their expensive and their smaller Lego sets. I don't think from this, you know, fairly limited analysis that Lego is getting more expensive. Of course, there are some much more kind of intricate and subtle things you could look at when analysing this, like that article actually did, you know, things like the license sets, because Lego have to pay money to Disney to make those sets, does that make them more expensive? Take a look at this guy's article for a bit more detail on whether or not there is any evidence of that. There is no price increase. Lego is as good value as it's always been. Anyway, do you agree with me? Let me know down below, or if you think I've cocked something up in the analysis, or I omitted something, let me know as well, and I could always repeat this because uh, we need some content, don't we? If you uh, are a member of YouTube Premium, you can, for the next, I think until like May the 1st, get 30 days free membership of my channel. So do that. Why wouldn't you do that? Because it's free. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, the link is down below as well. Uh, you get early access to my videos, essentially. Uh, it's a new thing. I'm working on it. So you know, please be patient. And if you have supported me via Patreon, your names will be scrolling down the screen very shortly. I'm supposed to thank the high pledgers in person. Oh Lord, what a useless website. Thank you to Damien Miller, David Robinson, Paul Cotter, and Mag Meg. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I shall see you next time for another one.